Hello, beautiful souls, rising goddesses, powerful goddesses in your power. Hello, welcome to the day. Welcome to where you are in your day. And I am so excited for you because, hello, your existence is everything. And you know, there's been so much energy surrounded around making sure that women and people in general don't know their power and don't know that they are everything. Do you know that you are the center of your universe, of your world? I just got the message, the message about mothers, actually. And that's not what I came here to talk about, but here we are. I am Melanie of Melamind, and I just want you to love yourself. I am here as a clear vessel for the messages from the divine, from the channels that we need to hear, okay, the messages we need to hear. There are many, many, many wonderful vessels here, wonderful channels here who are here to bring you the light, bring you the light messages that we need to hear. And when I say clear vessel, I mean somebody who meditates, somebody who does the ego work, who separates self from the message from the divine, and who is not programmed um, so much into certain, let's say, ideals, religions. That way we can be as clear as possible. Aside from that, yes, I am a self-love coach and I just want you to love yourself. Now, what I was saying before was about the mothers, women, humans in general, ascribing everything outside of themselves so that they can be free from their mind, so that they can be free from who they are. And I'm talking to you. I am talking directly to you because I've been, I mean, this message is coming through. You have found this message and, and this is for you. Please, beautiful soul, stop diverting your life, your vision, your goals, your direction to everything else, everyone else. Yes, you may be a parent. Yes, you may be a daughter. Yes, you may be a teacher. Yes, you may be many, many things, an employee, a wife, but you come first. Your self-love comes first. Your routines come first. Your meditation comes first. Your groundedness comes first. Come home to your body, to your soul, to your vessel every day, every single day. This is important. You don't wake up and go run to this person. You don't wake up and go over here. You don't wake up and say, this person's number one. No, you are. Religious people love you, love you so much. But let go and let God, no, no, no. We're letting go of putting things outside of ourselves that are going to get us to where we are. We thank God. We appreciate God. However, we appreciate ourselves as well. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because when you give every single piece of appreciation to God, to spirit, to source, where is the appreciation for yourself? Where? We have learned as we are here that the main foundation of our frequency that we need is love. We need unconditional love. And that unconditional love starts with yourself starts with you because at the end of the day <laughs> RuPaul said it best if you cannot love yourself how are you going to love the others how are you going to unconditionally take in the messages take in the divine channel what God wants you to hear what any source wants you to hear whatever you believe in how can you if you do not love yourself if you do not come home to who you are every day. It's 
what I was saying about the mothers. I ask a lot of mothers, I ask a lot of women, uh, what your purpose is, because I am a life coach, self-love and authenticity coach. And I ask, what is your purpose? And so, so, so many say to give my child the life they deserve, to take care of my child, to love my child. That is my purpose. And I just want to tell you, <laughs> again, reiterate, you come first. You are number one. As your child grows around you with all of the many, many things that you do for them, what kind of example are you setting for them and their self-love when you put yourself second? When you put yourself third and fourth and fifth and last, what are you teaching them? You're teaching them that they are last. You're teaching them that women are last. You're teaching them that everything comes before self, especially when you have a child. And I'm here to let you know, that's not how we're doing it. Be the example, the shining example of self-love. And that doesn't mean be selfish, because many of us have been through the childhood of having the mother who, or the father who puts himself first, who are selfish, who don't care really about the children. And we find that balance, the alchemy. Yes, give your child all the love, give your child every single thing that they that they adore and that aligns with them, yes. However, give yourself that too. And communicate with the little human that this is my time, my love. I have mommy time as well. I have daddy time as well. And I will take this time because yes, you are a very important and powerful piece of my life. However, I still come first. And here, here's the main the main thing as well, when they get older and they're gone, who are you? Gone as in moved out. <laughs> who are you? You're setting yourself up for a place where in 18 years or whenever your child does plan to leave your house, that you're going to be going through a rebirth. You're going to be going through a self-healing situation where you don't know who you are. And you're going to have to learn who you are because the past 18 years, you gave it to everyone else. Mothers, women, people raising children, please try to channel the energy of being the example of the light that you strive for, for your child. Be the example, okay? <laughs> I hope that that message has brought you light. I did not come here to speak. Well, I'm, so the thing about these messages is they are divine messages. Um, I am here to raise the consciousness of the collective with em emphasis on the divine feminine. And so whatever messages come to me, and right now we are in April, we have a full moon tomorrow actually, and this full moon is in Scorpio and we are in Taurus season and you know Taurus is so much about being grounded about really coming home and it's just so funny this this message is just right on time I feel and the fact that you found this message and that you are still here and you're still listening it's truly for you and I'm, I'm so excited for you um, It'd be really, really important for you to get to know your astrology, your natal chart. That way you understand what these full moons are all about. It's not going to be a surprise every time your emotions are erratic or you feel very grounded. You could use that groundedness as power. You could say, I feel really grounded right now. Where can I channel this energy? Look at your chart, see where Taurus is, and activate. Be mindful. It's, it's so powerful, okay? Um, the links to figure out your natal chart and book a session with me so that I can really just run through your whole chart and be like, bam, 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 bam. This is what we have going on. This is where you can use your power. This is what this is. Let me help you, okay? Let me help you because I want to help you. I want to. 
So update on me. I'm actually, oh, I'm going to do an oracle pull for you guys um, as a card. But I am in, of the energy. I'm in Egypt, Aswan. It's 101 degrees today. We are in Africa. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to start vlogging. That way you guys can see me outside of the divine messages. You can see what I do in my life. Well, I be the example of what it is to be the divine feminine and truly align with the life that I desire, that I design, that I am divinely channeled to. So I'll tell that story soon. Oh, I'm here. Until then, definitely check out my other videos. All oh, these are so cute. I love these cards. Okay, so two came out for us. We have number 31 and, and 17. Happy heart and wealth of laughter. And this might be something that has to do with the children having this childlike spirit and being able to be that that openness. Not you're not this stressed parent. You are free. You're a clear vessel because you do your meditation, you journal, you get active, you socialize with your friends, you go outside, you do the things that bring you home to your body. Um, that way you can be a fully just activated vessel with your children. So those are some tips on how to come home to your body. I realize I didn't say anything. Happy heart. My heart is full and happy, and I experience the depth and breadth of my emotions. I allow all emotions into my heart, but as I do, I focus my attention on joy without guilt or shame. You can do it. You can put yourself first. There is nothing wrong with it. Nothing, okay? Happy heart. If you resonate with that, please let me know. Please comment. Please tell me. I'd love to know. Wealth of laughter. I laugh and smile through the days and nights of my life, finding reasons to be happy at every turn. I honor laughter as medicine and appreciate all the opportunities to laugh and smile with those I love. I welcome moments of pure delight in the cycle ahead. <laughs> This is a wonderful reminder to smile, laugh, be, let yourself be free. If, the, if, you're not a, if you're not a mother, take this message as using that childlike energy, the childlike feeling of curiosity within the world, within the life, to truly have the life that you desire. You may be sitting around like this, oh, things aren't fair, oh, I don't like these, this isn't this way. Laugh. Have a laugh. Laugh at what's going on. Laugh at all the things that you can laugh at because, after all, we're, we're souls and human bodies. It's not so serious, okay? I'm sending you so much love. I hope you enjoyed this message. And please, please, love yourself. <laughs>